everyone, so today we are doing a huge home goods Halloween haul. It is finally time to do this dang Halloween haul, y'all. And I fully planned on filming these hauls like in between hunting days, but this year, this year I'm not gonna lie, the hunt was a little more difficult than usual. I feel like I was really looking for pieces and had to check back at stores all the time, various stores, all the things to find what I was searching for. So we truly hunted this year. And I think I went out almost every single day. <laughs> so we didn't get around to the hauls, but we're here now. And I've still been seeing a lot of these pieces out on the hunt. So if you're looking for any of this stuff, definitely check your home goods, TJ Maxx slash Marshalls, uh, cause that's where you can find the spooky goods. Anyways, before I jab my jaws any longer, I want to get through this as quickly as humanly possible because we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> so grab yourself a spooky beverage and a spooky snack because we're probably going to be here all freaking day. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> all right, so I think I'm going to start with the pieces I was really hunting for this year. Like I was out on the hunt looking for these pieces. The first one, if you know, you know. The new Headless Horseman statue. And if you've been around here for a while, then you know I love a good Headless Horseman statue. And this guy this year had all the details. He did not disappoint. And I had to really hunt for this guy. And I found him on a freaking Saturday of all days. And I never go out on Saturdays. I feel like Saturdays are the one day that I'm like, I just don't want to fight the crowds. But I was getting my nails done that day. And I went, I was just like, I'm going to drop in really quickly. And I saw him in all of his glory. And here he is. He is this full-blown, detailed, headless horseman. He's got this kind of grayish, silvery kind of look to him. And he's got all the details. So the other headless horseman statue I was obsessed with, he was more of like a silhouette. I don't want to drop this guy. If you know, you know. Um, but the other headless horseman statue I was obsessed with was more of a silhouette. He And they still sell that one. This one, this year has all the detail and this pumpkin by the way you're not gonna be able to see because of all the lights but the pumpkin the jack-o-lantern lights up he's got this jacket on he's got a sword even his headless hole is detailed <laughs> oh lord sir you're a mess but anyways i got this headless horseman statue and i'm surprised i even brought it up here because if you know you know i have a history of breaking these things and it crushes my soul every time we've had some serious accidents around here with headless horsemen okay let's talk about something else i was looking for this guy right here here we go sir come on i got this Frankenstein planter and this guy was new this year at least I think I've never seen this guy before and I love everything about this Frankenstein head I love the detail I love just how realistic it looks and yes he's got a glittery ass plant coming out of his head which is going to drive me crazy because I'm not a huge fan of glitter but I've seen some people over on the Facebook group take out the plants like this faux plant and put their own little variety in there or real plants or whatever they want to do but i'm gonna leave it like this for now because it's not shedding too bad yet that i'm noticing so i'm gonna keep it like this i just loved the look of this frankenstein head i just loved everything about this how much was this guy this guy was 29.99 and i actually found this guy later in the season i thought i missed out on him but turns out i just hadn't seen him yet next up i found this mirror i was looking once again everywhere for this mirror and i just saw it like a week ago maybe and it was this or maybe it was a couple weeks ago i don't know i just found it though just recently it's this coffin shaped i'm going to show you the back of it because i'm not trying to blind you with all the lights but i will show a visual like a video of the actual mirror itself but it's this coffin shaped mirror with skulls it has a bat on top this is beautiful and actually physically heavy i have the perfect spot for this um but i'm thinking i want to paint this black and i know some people are going to be repulsed by that idea but i just feel like for long term the black is just everything i just paint everything black that's what i'm trying to say just paint my whole life black at this point <laughs> all right next up i got some joanna parker pieces so i was on a serious hunt this year for joanna parker pieces because uh word on the street is actually word from joanna parker's mouth on her instagram basically the manufacturer who is manufacturing all of her spooky goods at home goods tj maxx marshall's 
uh, they are no longer going to be manufacturing her goods. So this is it. This is the last year for the Carnival Cottage, I think is what the line is called. And so what you see is what you see. So I was on the hunt this year looking for all the Joanna Parker pieces I could find. So let me show you what I got. Ooh, hold on, this belly is in the way. Ooh. But first up, I got this candy bowl. This black cat, like scaredy cat candy bowl that says trick or treat on it and it has the cat face. I thought this would be perfect in my in your face Halloween kitchen. And then I saw this guy and I was the most excited about this guy. I had not seen this character before from Joanna Parker. This vintage looking bat with the cute little things, the cute little face, the little party hat on. This is in the bright colors, the orange and the black, once again for my in your face Halloween kitchen. Then also from the Joanna Parker Carnival Cottage, I found this cookie jar or canister or whatever you want to call it. I was looking high and low and everywhere in between for a freaking Joanna Parker canister, but it's this little black cat canister. Once again with the scaredy cat face, the little party hat on. He is so freaking cute. He was $19.99. I meant to mention prices. He was $19.99. How much was this guy? The bowl was $12.99 for the cat bowl and the bat bowl is way over there. Hold on a minute. Ugh. And the bat bowl was also $12.99. Oh, we're squishing the baby today, y'all. Okay, and last but not least from the, I always wanna call it cottage core, <laughs> but it's the Carnival Cottage. This cute little ghosty canister. He's in this little jack-o'-lantern guy, and it's like a little jack-o'-lantern cauldron, it looks like, at the bottom. And the ghosty comes off and of course goes back in. And I love this guy. This is another one I found on a freaking Saturday or maybe it was a Sunday. I don't know, it was on a weekend. And it was crazy busy and there he was just sitting on the shelf and somebody was approaching the aisle and I ran to go grab him. <laughs> I'm that person, I'm that crazy Halloween lady. That is me, I am her, <laughs> we are one. <laughs> I'm just so excited I was able to at least get some of the Joanna Parker stuff. I really wanted the jack-o'-lantern canister guy, but I never saw him in the flesh. And the little witchy one, also didn't see her in the flesh. But we hunted and hunted for them and still no luck. So it's okay, we at least got some Joanna Parker. I'm so excited to have it as part of my collection, but I'm just so sad we're not gonna see any more of the Carnival Cottage out there. I'm so sad. Okay, next up, something I didn't even know existed. Didn't know I was looking for it, but when I saw it, I was so excited about it. Let me show you this canister, speaking of canisters. It almost looks like an urn, but it's a canister. Well, I guess it could be an urn if you want it to be an urn. It can be whatever you want it to be. You can put whatever you want. Whatever your spooky, morbid heart desires you can put in here. Um, but it is this black canister with these spider webs and it's got this bat at the top. Let me move my big fat head out of the way so you can see. Uh, but it has this bat at the top. It is this beautiful, oh, I put little coffee pods in there. I forgot I already put stuff in there. <laughs> it was already downstairs in my kitchen. Uh, but I am so excited about this piece. I've never seen it before. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, this belongs in my kitchen. It's got styrofoam on it. Uh, but I thought it'd be perfect in between my striped canisters in my kitchen, just an all year round dark canister. I was so excited to see stuff like this. Uh, this was $12.99, a steal of a deal, because this thing is huge. All right, next up, once again, for my all year round spooky home and Halloween, I saw these metal candle holders with these freaking bats on them. I got two of these, but I only brought one up to show you. The other one's already on my mantle. <laughs> uh, this was $7.99 for this metal candlestick holder. It's got a little hole in there where you can put your candlestick, but I almost like it without the candlestick in there. Like, of course you could put a candlestick in there, but I think it goes, I mean, it, it's either way for me. I have it right now on my mantle without a candlestick in it, and it just looks like a bat on a stand, and I love that option, because you know I love a good piece with options. So uh, it just looks like it's flying with the other bats over here. <laughs> then once again, for my all year round spooky home, I'm eating hair. 
clearly a sucker for a good candlestick holder. This one was a Martha Stewart goth piece and the Martha Stewart goth stuff or like, you know, the Martha Stewart Halloween stuff. But every time I see a Martha Stewart Halloween piece, I am blown away. Her stuff is so good. If I see something that's a good all year round dark decor piece, I'm like, that's Martha Stewart. I already know it. And here we go once again. This is a snake candlestick holder with a snake just wrapping around this candlestick holder. I love this as an all year round dark decor piece like I already mentioned, but I can't say that enough because it is such a cool piece. I love all the scales, the detail, and it looks like a spider has already tried building a web on the bottom of this and I'm gonna leave it on there because you know, a good old cobweb is perfect for the aesthetic. All right, next up, this is another piece I was searching for. And I was looking for all the spooky acrylic pieces, but I only found the ghost. I was looking for the witch hat that had the glitter that kind of flies up in there. If you saw it, then you know. But they had some really cool acrylic Halloween pieces this year, and I was just excited to see acrylic move into the Halloween realm. Uh, but I saw this ghosty, this acrylic ghosty with these jack-o'-lanterns. He doesn't do anything, but you could definitely put a light down at the bottom because he's hollow at the bottom. So I might either put some twinkle lights up in there or just one little tea light at the bottom and have it flicker. But these acrylic pieces were kind of pricey. This was $24.99 for this acrylic ghosty. So they were a little bit on the pricey side, but I was just so excited to see because I love a good acrylic piece. I have some acrylic stuff in my living room, my coffee table's acrylic, my little side table next to my little chair in my living room is acrylic. So I wanted some acrylic pieces. Plus, I feel like it's perfect for a ghosty, like see-through, <laughs> ghosty, acrylic, whatever. Okay, anyways, moving on. Next up, I saw this beautiful, mystical, magical witch. Look at this gal right here. This is a Jim Shore piece. I don't have any other Jim Shore pieces, but they're all really beautiful. But this one, I saw her, and if you know me, you know I love a good witch. And she's got some really cool detail to her. She's holding a jack-o'-lantern. She's got like a whole spooky scenery in her dress. And all around, she is so detailed. And this is, once again, one of those pieces that's a little more on the pricey side. This was $39.99 compared to $68. So I feel like that was a steal of a deal, but you don't see these pieces very often because they go really quickly, but this one was one of my favorite pieces this year. I love the little graveyard scene in her dress. It's so detailed, so cool, and I just love her in general, her long witchy fingers. I feel like this is one of those high quality pieces that you keep in your collection forever and you pass down or somebody comes to your estate sale and they love it and see it and they're like, oh my gosh, and it'll last, like it still looks brand new, you know what I mean? Let me know down in the comments what I should name her. She needs a, a proper witchy name. All right, next up, speaking of witchy, I got this witchy wall decor with these three witch silhouettes and they're all lined up. I love their witchy hats and their brooms, or no, those are staffs, a broom staff combination. I don't know what I'm looking at. And I feel like this is another all year round dark decor piece for me. I could put this on a wall, in a bathroom, wherever I wanna put it. Like it's the perfect little witchy all year round dark decor piece. Uh, then for the all year round spooky kitchen, I saw this ghosty spoon rest and I could not resist. I'm always looking for things that can go in an all year round spooky kitchen. So a lot of times the Halloween stuff, it's like a jack-o'-lantern or, you know, it says happy Halloween or says something on the spoon rest. I just wanted something classic I could leave out all year round and set my spoon in when, you know, I'm stirring my soup during the fall. <laughs> oh God, I can't wait. Uh, and I saw this guy and he is the perfect addition to the spooky kitchen. Just an all year round black and white ghosty. Ugh, this is $4.99. What a steal of a deal. Also from Home Goods, I got some spooky mugs. I tried to keep it at a minimum. I ended up with three of them. It is so hard for me to hone it in. First of all, the prices are always great on the mugs. But second of all, I just, I love a good spooky mug every single day. Anyways, I found this ghosty one. This is one of my favorite spooky mugs I've ever seen. It's got this little doorway with this little ghosty in there. And the ghosty is actually in the little doorway. It's like 3D, so it's not just a little print on a mug. It is like a full blown 3D ghosty in there. And it has this gothic looking handle. It's black and white, goes perfect in my black and white kitchen. I don't know, I love this guy. This is one of my favorite pieces this year. This is 4 dollars 
for this mug. Then I also got this one once again, another black and white aesthetic mug. But this one has all my favorite spooky things on it. It's got spider webs, it's got jack o' lanterns, it's got spooky houses, it's got ravens, it's got bats. A witch's broom. It has all the spooky things. This one was also $4.99 for this mug. Love everything about it. Once again, an all year round spooky decor mug for me. And you know I had to get an in your face Halloween mug. I had to get at least one. So I got this bright orange classic jack-o'-lantern mug. I love a good jack-o'-lantern mug. Just an in your face Halloween situation. So I got this bright orange jack-o'-lantern mug. Love everything about it. It's got jack-o'-lantern on either side and it's got this matte look to it. It's like a matte orange. I love it. This was also $4.99. Next up, I don't even know what you call these things. <laughs> I just call it like an oil pourer or vinegar pourer or whatever. I fully plan on putting olive oil in here and then you can just, you know, pour it out onto your, you know, when you're cooking or whatever. Um, but it has a spider web on it. It's an iridescent spider web that wraps around the whole bottle. I was just excited to see a spooky one of these. I've seen some spooky ones in the past, but they were glass and they had, like, you couldn't really see the print. Like, you couldn't see really what was going on. I love the matte black with the spider web, though. Love everything about this. I'm so excited. All right, so next up, I found this spooky canister with this little ghosty on it. I thought once again, this would be perfect in the all year round spooky kitchen. Has a ghosty, it says boo. This is a Ray Dunn piece. I don't know what it is. I thought I was done with Ray Dunn, <laughs> but Ray Dunn this year, I feel like stepped it up, kind of transformed some of the pieces into something, I don't know, like this. They had these cool little framed areas with little ghosties or ravens. Of course she had some of her classic stuff, but I love this kind of stuff with the little frame, with the little spooky creatures on the inside. I love everything about this. This was $9.99. Let me know if you feel the same way or maybe you don't feel the same way. Let me know down in the comments, what did you think of the Ray Dunn stuff this year? Cause I feel like she stepped up her game and it wasn't just the same old, same old kind of stuff. And also from Ray Dunn, I got the matching measuring cups. So it has the little ghosties on each cup and they're ceramic by the way, which I love. And then it says what it is on the other side. So this is one cup, but it has like they're stackable so you can stack them all in there and they're really heavy duty and ceramic. And I love the quality of this and I love the little ghosties. And now I'm just glad I have a spooky set of measuring cups. I love these. Also from Ray Dunn, I'm telling you, I feel like Ray Dunn stepped up her game this year. I saw this and hold on, I gotta get this freaking thing off first. Cause I gotta show you the inside. So I saw this just kind of classic black coffin casserole dish, or I don't know what they're calling it, a baking dish. I call it a casserole dish cause I live in the Midwest y'all. So to me, anything that remotely looks like this is a casserole dish. <laughs> Got this coffin shaped baking dish, just a classic coffin shape. Love everything about this for all year round, once again in the spooky kitchen. And then the inside I think has the classic Ray Dunn saying. I don't know, I haven't opened it yet. Yeah, it says bone appetite on the inside. Not the craziest about this, you know, Ray Dunn. She's gotta do her thing. She's gotta do it somewhere. But you don't really see the bottom of it. I was just thinking, I love a good coffin shaped casserole dish. So that's what I'm gonna be using it for. We're full fledged into the spooky kitchen at this point. I got this black Dutch oven. It has a little bat at the top and then it says bite me on the side. And once again, this is for the spooky kitchen for all year round. I just love a good, anything you can put soup in or make soup in. I love anything like that. And then you make it spooky and I'll probably buy it. All right, next up, still in the spooky kitchen. I feel like these were new this year. These spooky food storage containers. Did you guys see these this year? They had all these spooky things on the side, but they had all these little Mr. Skeletons. I don't know if the glare is glaring. But they had all these little Mr. Skeletons on the side. I wrap around the whole thing. So spooky food storage containers. Did I know I needed them in my life? No, but was I so freaking excited to see them? Yes, and they have Mr. Skeletons dancing all around the sides. Oh my gosh, I love everything about this. How much were these? $7.99 for a full set. You get more sizes on the inside. I freaking love these. I'm so excited to see them. Next up, I got some more canisters. Apparently canisters are my new thing. 
canisters and blow molds this year. I feel like <laughs> that's what I went for. Uh, anyways, I got some of these pumpkin canisters in black and white. Got these for Halloween into the fall season, like into Thanksgiving time. The white pumpkin canister, this was $7.99. I got this black one in this, in this little short squatty shape. The black canister and another black canister my hair is attached to it. Uh, this one was $7.99, this one was also $7.99. So $7.99 all around. Last thing I got for the spooky kitchen, I got this cast iron coffin bread maker, bread dish situation. Bread, what do you call these things? Bread, loaf pan. That's what it is. It's a cast iron loaf pan that took my brain a minute to make all the connections, but here we are. And it's in the shape of a coffin. Once again, I freaking love anything in the shape of a coffin for the spooky kitchen. And then you open it up and look what's on the inside, a skeleton. So when you bake your bread, it bakes a skeleton into your bread. I'm all about this. We got to test this out. We got to do some sort of bread for the spooky kitchen to see how this works. We got to put it to the test. If we can get through this haul without breaking anything, that would be a miracle. Okay. That's it for the spooky kitchen stuff. So if you were tired of seeing that stuff anyways, then we're moving on. Okay, what else did I get? I got some random stuff in here. Let's see what we got. I got some random spooky beauty blender looking things, you know, like beauty sponges with all these cute little ghosty faces on them or jack-o'-lantern faces, the combination. I saw these at TJ Maxx, snagged them so fast. So next up for Lucian, I got these little Lego containers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. I got him the jack-o'-lantern one last year, but this one came with the little skeleton Lego holder, so you can put Legos in here or anything, any kind of toys, small toys. I think I'm gonna put his little people in here because he doesn't have Legos yet. So I'll probably put some just little toys in here for him, just spooky storage for his toys. And then, look at this one. This little zombie monster guy. I don't know exactly what he is, but I love everything about it. It's spooky. I'm into it. Uh, $14.99 for these. Wait, I might want to put these back in here for now because I'm going to stack things on them. So, love these little containers. I used them for, I think I used them before for little hats for Lucian in his nursery. I have a little jack-o'-lantern one and I put little baby hats in there when he was a little baby. Uh, so you can really store anything in them, but I thought they were really cute. Okay. Okay. What other random stuff did we get? Oh, a pair of skull dangly earrings, if you can see these. It looks like one of those cameos with little skulls in there, if you can see. And I got this little book container, you know, the little book containers. This one, this was unlike any of the other ones I saw this year. This one has this wraithy ghost and this spooky house castle situation, or maybe it's a mausoleum. I can't decide what that is. It says happy Halloween, has branchy trees. It's a whole spooky setting. This was $7.99. The side says happy Halloween. And then what else did I get? Oh, these sheets. Also got these from Home Goods. These king size sheets. I was so freaking excited to see these. I never find the king size sheets. Spooky family last year had to send me some king size sheets because I could not find them anywhere. I always see full and twin, sometimes queen, but never king. I saw these, snagged them so fast, and these are 100% cotton. So I got these Rachel Zoe 100% cotton sheets, and they're black and white, which is an all year round spooky situation for me. I can leave these on all year round, or just have them for the spooky season for my black and white bedroom. I don't know if I'm using these this year for my Halloween bed. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Should I use these for my Halloween bed this year? Let me know in the comments. We can do a black and white thing, but I feel like I do black and white for all year round. I don't know, I feel like I need to use these this year because I cannot wait to bust these out. I cannot wait until after Halloween for an all year round spooky thing. All right, anyways, also for sheets. Okay, so Lucian is gonna get a big boy bed. I've decided, I was, I was trying to decide whether or not I'm getting him a crib that you know converts into a toddler bed or do I switch to it just go ahead and get a full-size bed and start there so I've made the decision I'm getting a full-size bed for him and I got some spooky sheets for his big boy bed and these ones are so cute they've got little jack-o-lanterns little ghosty spiders bats all the spooky goods 
and the spooky Halloween colors. This makes me so excited to give them a little Halloween toddler room. I cannot wait. All right, also from Home Goods, I saw this guy, this big Happy Halloween sign. It's an orange and black. I was looking for an in your face Halloween sign for my in your face Halloween kitchen. I've been using the same one for the last two years. I was looking for something different, something orange and black, something that said either happy Halloween or something spooky or about Halloween or something. And I saw this guy and I'm, I haven't tried it out yet. So we'll see how it looks, but I'm hoping it fills a lot of that space because the sign I was using, I feel like it was a little small, not, it was long enough but it was a little short for the space. So I'm hoping to fill that space a little more. So I saw this guy and snagged him. So we'll see how it works. Uh, but my kitchen is gonna be the first place we tackle this year. I'm actually doing it this week. So we're doing, after we get these halls filmed, we are decorating, we're starting in the kitchen. So we're gonna give this a try and see how it goes. But I'm really excited. And um, this was $12.99, which is a steal of a deal. This thing is freaking huge and heavy. It's actually physically heavy. So. Anyways, we're, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're moving on, I got some blankets, towels, uh, bathroom stuff, all sorts of spooky goods. Anyways, I got this hooded towel for the new little baby gremlin and it has little ghosties all over it. So it's just a black hood with all these little ghosties. And now that I know better, I know that babies only, they only use these hooded towels for 2.5 seconds. So I didn't go overboard. I didn't buy all the spooky ones because Lucian maybe used his for a couple months or I don't know. It wasn't very long. And uh, then his head got too big for the hood. So <laughs> I have a feeling this this other baby, if, if, if things are aligning, the measurements are correct, then he's also going to be that way. So RIP my pelvic region, but that's all right. All right. So also for the bathroom, I'm doing a ghosty theme in Lucian's bathroom this year. Well, Lucian and the new baby gremlin's bathroom. I'm doing a ghosty theme because they've got that Jack and Jill bathroom, if you know what it is. If you don't, it's got like two sinks and it and it kind of connects the two rooms. So both rooms share sinks and a bathtub and shower and all that kind of stuff, toilet, whatever. I got these ghosty bath mats, these black and white ghosty bath mats. These are Rachel Zoe and because I've got two sinks in there. And these were $9.99. Got this for the boys' bathrooms. Then I saw the big version. So I got the big version for my bathroom. So my sink and Dallas's sink. Um, so we're all going to have ghosty bath mats this year. And then for Lucian's bathroom, he has a little towel rack that's big enough for like one towel. Like a little decorative towel, you know what I mean? So I saw this one with the freaking little ghosties all over it. This is the softest towel. And then I thought to put over the towel, like a little hand towel, I got this little ghosty hand towel set to kind of go with, yes, it's a different face, but, and maybe it won't go. Maybe I'll end up just putting these on either side, like the hand towel area and just leave this guy alone. But, I got the little ghosty towel just in case. If it doesn't go, it doesn't go. I'm not gonna, you know, cry about it or anything. Anyways, anyways, speaking of towels, I got some hand towels for the spooky kitchen. I got this set, this Joanna Parker set with the little moons and bats and the little moons have faces on it. I got this for all year round. So I'm not even gonna use these for Halloween. These are an all year round kitchen towel for me. And then I also got this in your face Halloween towel set. Once again, Joanna Parker that's orange and has all these little vintage characters all over it or vintage looking characters all over it. I got this for my in your face Halloween kitchen and then it comes with the black towel as well. So it's got the Halloween towel and the black towel all in one set. Oh, how much were these? This moon one was $9.99 and the Halloween -y towels were $7.99. Then also got some blankets. Did I mention this one? I think I may have mentioned this one before in my other haul, but I'm gonna mention it again just in case. I got some blankets for my nieces for their Halloween bags this year. So they're getting a little older. Their Halloween bags are gonna look a little different. So I got them blankets this year instead of jammies and cute little toddler outfits and baby outfits. <laughs> I got them blankets instead and then I'm filling their bags with other things um, like some spooky jewelry and hair clips and stuff like that. Uh, anyways, 
I got one of the girls, because one of them likes purple and one of them likes pink. So I got one of the girls this purple one with all these spooky little things on it. Little potion bottles and spiders and candles. And, and I also got the pink one. I think I showed this one, but just in case I didn't, I wanted to show you. Uh, but it has pink ghosties and white ghosties and jack-o'-lanterns, bats, all the spooky goods, but in more of the pink vibe. So that's what I got my nieces. And then for Lucian's bedroom all year round, I found this blanket. The skull and crossbones checkered, like black and white checkered blanket. It's that really soft. He loves this material. Any blanket that's this material, he always grabs it and drags it around, even if it's huge. He'll drag it around the house. <laughs> he loves these so much and snuggles with them. So I thought for his new toddler room, for his bed, for all year round, this was so cute. Just for a little spooky babe. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean a grown big boy. <laughs> Moving right along, I found this rug. This spider web rug, once again, an all year round spooky house kind of situation. Just a big old rug in the shape of a spider web. And I was looking for a rug for my front door. If it's too small for that area, then I'll put it back over by the garage door. And I saw this at Home Good, yeah, just a plain old Home Good store. That's where I saw this guy. So then, before we get into some clothes, I want to show you this. I saw this and was so freaking excited. I didn't even know they made these. This is another thing that was new to me this year. I don't, maybe I just overlooked it in years past because I wasn't looking for this kind of thing. But I saw this jack-o'-lantern basket that's perfect for Lucian's toys. I can, or stuffed animals or whatever I need to put in here. And then when he grows up, I can use it for <laughs> my spooky blankets is what I was thinking. But I was so excited to see a jack-o'-lantern or just a Halloween spooky basket where I could put blankets, stuffed animals, toys, Whatever, I think we're gonna put toys in here right now. Next up, I got some clothes. This is where Marshalls slash TJ Maxx comes in. And I think I got this at the Marshalls TJ Maxx hybrid store. Uh, this jack-o'-lantern poncho that is the softest freaking poncho I've ever put on my body, ever. It's the same material as that blanket I was talking about, the one that Lucian carries around the house all the time, like that same material. And then it has these little tassels at the bottom. There are these little jack-o'-lantern tassels. And it's got this full-blown jack-o'-lantern face embroidered on it. This thing, my pregnant ass is going to be snuggling up in this thing all fall long. Like up until I give birth. I'll probably wear this while giving birth. Not really. <laughs> but it is so comfortable. Even when I'm not pregnant, I'm going to be wearing this, of course. But... It is all about comfort right now. I'm just excited for the weather to finally cooperate so I can wear this and just never leave it ever again. <laughs> uh, anyways, this was $19.99 for this poncho. And then I also got these black joggers with these little silver ghosties all over them. And these were $12.99. These are so soft and so nice. They're more of a thin material, so I feel like I could wear these now. Like I don't have to wait for it to cool down, you know what I mean? And then, of course, I had to get Lucian some Halloween jams, some more Halloween jams. This kid, <laughs> this kid is fully stocked in the Halloween jam department. I mean, he wears these all year round, but I got these green ones with the spider webs and bats and spiders all over it. And then it comes with the super soft grippy socks with the whole set. I love that. Wait, how much was that? $8.99 for those. And then I also couldn't resist this set, this orange jammy set with the little vintage looking spooky characters as lollipops and this one actually glows in the dark which you know i'm a sucker no pun intended <laughs> here i am with my mom jokes i'm a sucker for a glow in the dark situation these were also 8.99 and then i got this set this set is so freaking cute this came with two pairs of pajamas the white pair with the little bats and the little orange starburst all over them so you have this guy and so you have this guy. And then on the other side, you have the short sleeve with the freaking checkers. I love the checkers. And it has the little checkers with the ghosties. And then the shirt says spooky dude on it. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Does this glow in the dark? I feel like it might glow in the dark. Because I see like a glow in the dark color on there. Anyways, got this set. How much was this one? $10.99. Steal of a deal for two jammies. Anyways, got those. No, I got these. I got these little Halloween countdown sticker books for the girls for their Halloween baskets this year. Oh, and I got their, they're not technically baskets. 
They're bags. Let me see where they're bags. I just call them Halloween baskets every year, but they're bags. And I got their bags. I had to get them big enough to fit their spooky blankets. So I found these at TJ Maxx slash Marshalls, or no, these were TJ Maxx. And all they had left were these spooky country western uh, cowgirl. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. Spooky cowboy Mr. Skeletons and the jack-o'-lantern cowboy situation. That's all they had left <laughs> as far as these big spooky bags. So I went ahead and snagged them. They were a dollar. And then I'm going to put the girls' spooky goods in these. So I don't know if they're into spooky country western, but they are now. <laughs> Anyways, I thought they'd be cute either way. So and I'll be putting together their spooky bags for Vlogoween. So you'll see that uh, where I vlog every day in October. We'll put together, every year we put together their spooky Halloween bags. And we'll be doing that. But yeah, yeah we made it to the end of this haul. I still have another Halloween haul to film. Because I've got Michaels, Kirkland's, what else do I have over there? Uh, Big Lots, some at home, we got some stuff later in the game, and Lakeside Collection, a couple things like that. So I have another Halloween haul coming up, and we also have Halloween hunting coming up. We still got to see Target, Walmart, and Home Depot, but I want to start decorating. And now that this Home Goods haul is done, I can officially start decorating because a lot of this stuff is for the spooky kitchen, and that's what I'm starting with first. So uh, the Halloween, in your face Halloween kitchen decorating is coming your way. Hope you enjoyed hanging out here, talking about the spooky goods, uh, while I show you the spooky goods. Anything you want to chit chat about down in the comments, uh, anything you were looking for at your home goods, did you find anything good? But either way, let me know your favorite piece you picked up from home goods slash TJ Maxx slash Marshalls this year or TK Maxx. But yeah, let me know your favorite thing you found at any of those places down in the comments. And yeah, anyways, thank you so much for hanging out here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.